Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk a little bit about the definition of a surjective function. So we say a function f from a to b. So a here is the domain and b is the codomain is surjective. You can also use the word uh, onto, so parentheses onto, if I'm going to write it uh, two ways. First, I'll write it in words. If for all little b in capital B, so for every little b in the codomain, there exists little a in capital A such that little f of a is equal to little b. So this is typically not how I write it. Uh, let me show you the shorthand way to write it. So you would say f from a to b is surjective. I'll just say on to to save a little bit of time. This is much cleaner this way. If for all, so this upside down a means for all. So replacing for all b, and then n is this symbol here, capital B, there exists. So there exists, was this backwards E, it means there exists A in, in is our little weird little E symbol, A. And then we can replace such that with ST, F of A equals B. So what does this mean? So let me give you uh, a picture so you understand what this definition means. It's actually not hard uh, when you know what it means. Like most mathematics, um, once you uh, know it, it's actually pretty easy. If you don't know it, it's impossible. <laughs> so this is big B, this is the codomain, and uh, this is big A, let's say. So this is saying for every little b in capital B, we can find some little a in capital A, such that f of a is equal to b. So let's say we have uh, our little b's here. We have b1, b2, b3. So we have three little b's in big B. And so for every single one of these, we can find some a, say this is a1, such that f takes a1, say, to b1. So f of a1 is equal to, say, b1. Likewise, we have a b2 here. This means that there's some other element here, a sub 2, which maybe takes it there. And then maybe a sub 3. Right, a sub 3, and that would maybe go there. Okay, so this is what it means to be surjective. So given any element here, um, you can find an element here uh, that takes it um, there. So that's what it means for a function to be um, surjective. You could have something like this. You could have another element here, okay, and it could also go to this element here. So you can have something here in the codomain, you know, getting... Uh, hit more than once by elements from the domain. That's fine, it's still surjective. The point of surjection is that everything here gets hit. So everything gets hit. It, you can't have something like that. That would fail. That would fail. Let me give you another example with actual numbers so you see how it works. So let's see, I'll just make one up. Um, here we go. This is A and this is B. So here we have four, five, six. That's the uh, codomain. And then here we have uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so maybe one goes to four. Maybe two also goes to four. Three goes to five. And four goes to six. This is a surjection. Everything is getting hit. Whereas if you do something like this, this is A, one, two, three, four. This is B, four, five, six. If I do this, one goes to four, two goes to four. 3 goes to 5, 4 goes to 5. This is not surjective, right? This is not surjective. This is not surjective because the element 6 does not get hit. So a surjection means that every element in the codomain gets hit, right? F sends something to every element in the codomain. That's why this for all symbol is here. So for all little b in capital B, right, we can find some little a in the domain such that F sends that little a to b. So everything gets it. That's it. I think I'll stop the video here. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the definition 
uh, in the videos that follow, we're going to use the definition to do some proofs to prove uh, that functions are surjective or onto. That's it. I hope this has been uh, somewhat helpful.